Let's dive into it. First things first, we have to talk about Deshaun Watson's level of entitlement, which got him into this position in the first place. Deshaun Watson at the time had a girlfriend and within a span of two years had over 60 different massage therapists. I don't know a professional athlete alive that wanted more than one legit massage therapist. Now, if that massage therapist doesn't cut it, then you go to number two, et cetera. This is where this story takes a life of its own. What Deshaun Watson felt in that moment, and this is what I think he's definitely guilty of, is that he's guilty of being a professional freak. Deshaun Watson, there's no way in this world do you ever want that many different massage therapists unless you wanted something more than just a massage. Let's just start there. When you go out there and you try to find massage therapists, there's a highbrow way of doing it. There's a professional way of doing it. And then there's also the way that we learned in the subculture of the NFL in terms of, oh, do you want a massage or do you want to get rubbed on and try to holler? That's where Deshaun Watson went. I dated a massage therapist before on the team, team issued. Hey, and you know how it went? This is exactly how it went, Acho. Team says, here's my massage therapist for training camp. Okay, everybody comes here professional. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Okay. And then all of a sudden, you can just tell by mannerism. You can tell by conversation. You could tell that not all of them were being as professional as advertised. And I dated one from there. And it came in conjunction with this. Her conversation was different. So she wasn't just trying to massage me. She was trying to rub on me to holler. And then I started to listen. I was like, all right, got up, talked to my teammates. They was like, oh, yeah, her? She cool. She cool. She cool. Deshaun Watson is trying to protect his two things. One, he doesn't want to admit that that's what he was intending to do. Two, he doesn't want to admit who enabled him or who helped him do what he intended to do. So while he's still tethered to that reality of like, yo, I was trying to do more than just get a massage without assaulting, without really suggesting, but hey, my intention is greater than just a massage. Until he admits that, until he shows us that chunk of flesh, everyone's gonna misperceive this situation like they have been. It's impossible for me to believe. Look, I don't, I don't know what occurred between Deshaun Watson once he was on that table and a massage therapist was there. What was professional and what was getting personal? I don't know that. I'm not even suggesting I know that. What I am telling you, though, to get yourself into that position 66 different times, oh, your intention is not just for a massage. That I know for a fact. Some of them weren't even licensed. So you imagine I'm going to find a massage therapist. My first question is, have you ever given a massage? <laughs> All right, told him myself, I'm not trying to get a massage from you. I'm trying to holler at you. If I'm going massage therapist after massage therapist, one, are they all that bad? And if they're all that bad, wouldn't you say, pause, I'm too valuable to keep running into bad massage therapists. Let me go get the right one. We know how to navigate. We know where to find what we're intending to find. If you want you the best massage in the world, you're around professional athletes and organizations with resources. They can find that for you. Or if you just want to go find somebody to rub on you so you can holler, you can find that as well. Deshaun Watson found himself in this position too many times for me to think otherwise. Nuance or indirect? See, this is what happened with Deshaun Watson. He tried to run the old college, come over and give me a massage trick. We've all been there. You see the pretty girl on campus, she likes you, you like her back. All of a sudden, you got to play this little cat and mouse game of like, oh, you're Deshaun Watson, or oh, you're Emmanuel Watson, oh, you're Marcellus Watson. I can't just directly holler at you. Every girl likes him. Oh, he holler at every girl. That's how it was for me at Columbia. I can imagine y'all at UT and Clemson. Good Lord. Good Lord. Anyway, so then it turns into this. Oh, why don't you come over? Let's study. Did you really want to study? You would have went to the library and met the girl if you wanted to study. Come on over. Why don't you give me a massage? Did you really want a massage from her? Like, has she ever given a massage before? No, it's to lead to something else. So this is what happens in these situations. I don't even know if it's nuanced. I think it's just indirectness conflicting. You both are wearing costumes, potentially. Some of these girls, I bet, were really professional massage therapists. Like, damn, dog, what are you doing? I'm not trying to rub your groin from hello. Like, you're not that guy. I'm not that girl. But then there are some wearing a costume, a guy's, just like Deshaun potentially was wearing a guy's. And in that cat and mouse game, no one's being direct. So therefore, everything's arbitrary. Therefore, things get lost in terms of consent 
and cooperation. Because we're not being direct. We're not saying the line is here. And I've been there before. I've been the guy who's sitting there like, oh, I wanted a massage, but she's trying to rub on me to holler. And I've also been the guy like, nah, not today. All of this indirectness is why we're in this position right now, where Deshaun, in his mind, thinks he's telling the truth. Problem is, it wasn't properly defined as the truth for both parties. <laughs>